Okay, here's the second half of 4.2 notes. We're talking about exterior angles, okay? So, um, the exterior angle of a polygon, this is an angle formed by a side and an extension of an adjacent side. Okay, so we have a I have a drawing here. Here's a side of a triangle, and here's an extension of the adjacent side right here, and that creates this angle. Angle four is an exterior angle. And a remote interior angle. These are the two non-adjacent um, interior angles of the polygon. So remote interior angles would be one and two. One and two are remote interior because they are not touching the exterior angle that we're talking about. Since 4 is the exterior, notice only 3 is touching 4. So 3 is an interior angle, but it's it's touching it, so it's not a remote interior. And 1 and 2 are the remote interior. And the theorem says the measure of each exterior angle of a triangle, so angle 4 here, equals the sum of the measure of its two remote interior angles. Here's the two remote interior angles. Okay. So we're going to find the measure of each missing numbered angle in this figure, and we're going to use this theorem, this triangle exterior angle theorem. So let's zoom in. All right, I have 50 and I have 78. Well, 50 and 78 are remote interior angles, and one is an exterior angle. So we can find one by just adding up 50 and 78. So we could say, hey, this equals 128 degrees right there. And then we can find angle 2, because 1 and 2 create a straight line, so 2 has to be its supplement. So we would just do 180 minus 128. Uh, we could just do that right here. And that would give us, what, 52? Yeah, 52. So we could say angle 2 is 52 degrees. All right. And now again, I have two remote interiors and an exterior. So it might help if I write this out as an equation, but remember these two should add up to equal this. So I can just write 52 for angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 120. Subtract 52, subtract 52. I would get that angle 3 is 120 minus 52, which is what? 68? Yeah, 68. So angle 3 is 68 degrees, and I can keep going. Um, remember, these two, again, straight lines, so they have to add up to 180. So if this is 120, then angle 4 is, is uh, 60 degrees. And since I have these two angles, 60 and 56, I can add them up to get this exterior angle, because I have two interiors that are going to equal the exterior. So 60 plus 56 is 116. There we go. And I found all the missing angles using what I know about the exterior angle theorem. Okay, that was it. Um, you guys can use the summary and just say what we've learned about different classifications of triangles. Um, wait, we have learned about different classifications of triangles, but can a triangle have more than one right or obtuse angle? Explain your reasoning. So think about that and uh, yeah, see what you come up with. All right, later.